Hey guys, Mike here from sayyourservice.co.uk and today I want to talk to you about why you don't need a funnel to sell. Nope, fuck that up. Today I want to talk to you about why you don't need a portfolio to sell marketing funnels. So often when we're kind of new into a space, particularly if we're new into an industry or a particular niche, we might be asked, oh, do you have a portfolio of previous work? And of course we kind of freeze up because they might be our first customer and we don't actually have anything to show them. Or what also happens is we're not so keen on the previous work that we've done and that can make it a little bit tricky for us to show off a portfolio when in actual fact we're just not that proud of what it is that we've previously done with other customers. Is that This causes us to panic and say to the customer either no we don't have a portfolio and they'll say to us oh okay well mm, not so sure about this and that sort of affects their trust levels in us the funny thing is though i have never been asked if i have a portfolio of previous work and i'll tell you why so the reason a customer asks you if you've got a portfolio it's got nothing to do with them wanting to see other previous designs and see what works what they're actually asking for is proof that they can trust you to deliver on what they've expected. In fact, one of the only times we've ever been asked for a portfolio is when uh, a customer asked for such a specific request, they actually did say to us, have you ever done anything like this before? Now, to be fair, this was back when we did websites, email marketing, graphic design, we did everything under the sun, and it was clear that we weren't specific enough within a particular niche or industry to be able to justify that we had done this one very specialist topic before. Interestingly, after kind of that project never really went anywhere in the end, when we did specialize and when we were really clear and we said we only work with course-based membership businesses, so membership businesses that have online courses, very, very specific, all of a sudden we were able to deliver the exact same product to that pre to the previous customer had asked for, but uh, they didn't ask for a proposal, they didn't ask for a, um, a portfolio. Instead, what they ended up reading was our blog post on how online course-based membership businesses can grow their email subscriber list. So that's all we did, right, is we said, we're going to help you grow your email list and eventually filter those people through to being online course members, even subscription customers, although that wasn't a requirement. They could just buy one off. So the, despite the fact that we didn't actually have a portfolio, but we were more niched into an area, what did win us the work was the long form blog post. And the reason we won the, the contract in the end was because they trusted that we would be able to do the work with them and, and do this project to a high enough standard. How is it that they would trust us to do that even though we didn't have a, port, a, a portfolio? It's because we had written this really long form, high quality, killer piece of content that was something like 10,000 words. It came with free... Um, like five free worksheets and lead magnets that you didn't need to download. I say lead magnets that are kind of like halfway between a content upgrade um, and uh, like a free download because they were part of the post and they could download them and read them, but they didn't have to enter their email address. So there was just so much value in that. Now, regardless of whether they actually did read that blog post or not, it was clear that either only an expert or a crazy person would write that much content on something so specific. So when we talk about portfolios, what we're really saying is, does the customer trust that you can deliver what they need uh, in comparison to every other competitor? The advantage you've got is one, as a funnel builder, you're already pretty specific on the deliverables that you're going to be delivering and kind of building for your particular customer. It's going to be sales pages, squeeze pages, automation, some email campaigns and things like that. So you're already positioning yourself and narrowing down your focus compared to people who are design agencies and they do graphic design and web design and development and all this kind of stuff and a little bit of everything, right? In the meantime, having a look at the content that you produce around a very specific problem for that particular market is also critical. So you've got your, your deliverables here, your funnel, that's pretty specific. When you talk about building funnels, you're narrowing the reality, the likelihood that someone will ask for a portfolio. So funnels, yeah, probably people are still going to say to you, oh, do you have any previous work? Now, if you narrow down to a niche, okay, 
and you and I mean a proper niche, and you say we only work with. Let's choose something even more obscure. I don't know, kitchen cutlery makers. So people who make silverware and, and cutlery for <clears throat> home kitchens, you know, domestic kitchens. You only work with those guys. You say we help this particular niche get their product into you know more distributors and suppliers yeah okay that's pretty good that's that's actually becoming less and less likely to have a portfolio because surely only someone who really knows what they're doing would specialize down to that level then if you create a very specific problem within that niche and you say we help uh on we help cutlery manufacturers distribute to more um stores and also increase sales online um to brand new customers and help them find brand new customers cool that's a pretty specific problem within a specific niche within a specific sector that's looking pretty good and finally if you were to write content about that a 10,000 word blog post on that very specific problem for that specific niche in that specific area i guarantee you no one will ask you for a portfolio because surely only a maniac or someone who's a complete expert in that area would even be able to write 5,000 or 10,000 or 15,000 words on that particular post. You do want to have, prob it's not probably not 5,000, you want to have over 10,000 words on it uh, because that shows that you've clearly put time into this and thought and it's obviously something that you know a lot about. The reality is that the advice is probably even going to be relatively generic by specializing down and saying who it's aimed at, that automatically turns the content into something that only someone from that industry or niche is gonna to wanna to read or someone with that particular problem. But the, the advice itself is relatively generic. And this is kind of the trap that I think a lot of funnel builders fall into is, I don't doubt that you could help and add massive value to any business in the world. I'm sure that if every business in the world had a decent budget, you would be able to help them. The problem comes when that's not specific enough and because it's not specific enough, the customer needs a way of being able to trust you and them asking for a portfolio is them saying to you, I don't trust you, help me get over this. Now the reality is we're not asked if we have a portfolio anymore, but instead you can flip it and say, yeah, we've actually got a series of case studies rather than a traditional portfolio. We've written up a series of useful guides from our experiences in working with other customers and working on other projects that you can read maybe you'd like me to send you a link and by sending a link to those very long form specific high quality killer blog posts you're positioning yourself in a very different market in a very different place compared to people who are going there with a broad approach and saying yeah here's my portfolio here's some other stuff that you've seen they actually don't want to see your portfolio what they want to see is uh, your ability to deliver on the project something else that the long form high quality blog post also is able to do is um, give you a really easy lead in for referrals if you can send that blog post to your network and say hey we've written this long form blog post because we only work with cutlery manufacturers it's basically how they can reach new distributors and find their way into new customer homes if you know anyone within that industry if you could send them this this would be really really helpful and this is how we found our first couple of big clients particularly for our older agency was that network of 200 250 people reaching out to their network and saying and even if only eight of them did and it was a relatively small number in fact we measured it we sent it in total to something like two and a half thousand um people that we knew and we we, we emailed and sent it to everybody facebook linkedin people who subscribed on our youtube channel like all 50 of them at the time or whatever it was we sent it to our um, people like chambers of commerce people who we knew had large networks so it ended up going out to like something like 2500 people which we measured the return immediately was something like four or five actual projects so straight away four or five actual projects from our network because they went yeah funny enough i actually am working with again at the time it was um online course based businesses so maybe we should have a conversation we did it we set up loads of conversations and then from that we also had something like 10 referral communications where our network says i don't work in this particular area but i know someone who does so i'm going to send this blog post over to them we go oh awesome well if we could get an introduction we'd happily talk them through it and maybe even do a bit of a quick audit it gave us this inroad with 
because it gave us this inroad and it came from a referral and it was clearly well written content and it had a few graphics and some worksheets and things it meant that by the time we reached a project proposal stage they weren't willing to they didn't need to see a portfolio because we had demonstrated to them that we already knew what we were talking about and surely only an expert would talk at length about this particular subject cool so thanks very much guys let me know if you do have a really high quality long form piece of blog content in fact link it below i'd love to read it i'd love to read anything that you guys have got going and even if i've seen it before because there's a few of you out there go ahead and link it below that'll be awesome to kind of share that on this particular blog post uh, i'll also link a couple of my long form blog posts that i've i've written up and down there as well so you can you can check those out i'll put those in the comments in the meantime guys i'll leave you with a couple other bits and pieces like uh you know some other useful videos that will sort of be floating around here kind of my head will be in between them i have to squeeze in like that and uh yeah i will see you on the next video thanks for reaching the end i am mike from sailor service keep building those funnels